Hello, Storytime friends. How are you? It is a great fall day outside. Not too cold, a little windy, lots of leaves on the ground to play in. There's a day coming up, and I'm not really sure how many people are aware of it, but October 18th is a special day to celebrate where we live. I have a hint for you. It's right here. What do you think this is? It's a flag, right? Do you know what this flag is for? It's for the place we live, which is the state of Alaska. Yeah. So October 18th is Alaska Day, where Alaskans just celebrate the great place that we live in. That's pretty amazing, right? I think it's pretty cool. All right, wiggle time. Let's do, hmm, should we do head and shoulders again? Start up here. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. How did you guys do? Okay, who can stretch way up to the sky? Way out to the sides. Stretch both arms to one side and both arms to the other side. And touch your toes one more time and touch your nose one more time. Are you ready for stories about Alaska? That's gonna be pretty cool, right? What are some things that you like about living in Alaska? How about the mountains? How about the animals? How about the winter? It's coming, isn't it? Our first story is ABC, Alaska, Alaska ABC. Okay. In this book, A is for animals across Alaska. And B is for bear with a bucket of berries. C is for caribou covering a cabin. D is for doll sheep dancing at dawn. And E is for eagle and ermine eating. F is for fox and forget-me-nots. Did you see the little forget-me-not flowers? And G is for goats gliding down a glacier. Oops. H is for huskies hauling a halibut. And I is for ice worms in igloos. That's just silly. J is for jabbering J's. K is for king crab in a kayak. L is for loving lynx mother. And M is for moose in mukluks. N is for northern lights at night. O is for otters in the ocean. P is for polar bears in a parka. Q is for quills and kivyut. What are those two animals? Can you see them? Musk ox and porcupines. R is for reindeer in the rain. And what is that in the background? Do you see the rainbow? S is for Salmon snowshoeing, that's really silly. Well, the pages are stuck together on this book. Let's see. T 
T is for two tall totem poles. Oh my, that is hilarious. Okay, U is for under an omiac. V is for vegetables in the valley. W is for walrus in the waves. X is for extra large state, because we're the biggest state, right? Y is for yellow legs on the Yukon. Z is for below zero temperatures in Alaska. We have some of those, don't we? Okay, so everybody got their counting fingers ready? Five counting fingers for five little polar bears. Can you have five fingers for five polar bears? So five playing polar bears on the shore and one fell in the water. And now how many do we have, friends? How many? One, two, three, four. Four little polar bears swimming out to sea. Can your polar bears swim in the sea? And one gets lost. And now, how many do we have? One, two, three. Three little polar bears said, what shall we do? And one climbed on an iceberg. And now how many do we have? One, two. Two little polar bears playing in the sun. And one went for food. And now, how many do we have left? There's only one. One little polar bear didn't want to stay. He said, I'm lonesome. And then he swam far away. That was great counting. Okay. I have another fun book with all kinds of Alaskan things. It's called Once Upon Alaska. A land so grand and wide and far, we came to visit. So here we are. Won't you come for a ride with me? There's room for two, or maybe three. In the breath between storms, light paints the sky, rainbow glows, and the boat glides by. Fins shimmer. Tails a shiver, wriggling up the icy river. I dream a dream upon the sea to catch a fish as big as me. With a crash and a splash, I raise my tail to the roving life of a humpback whale. A whoosh and an ah. Mouths open wide, a thousand herring scooped inside. Sea and sky become the same, orca's breath, a silver flame. Crowded, sure, but sunny too. There's room for me, but not for you. You see that guy there in the water? He really wants on. A little snooze upon the water, just the way an otter otter. We don't mind a bed of ice, but a comfy mattress might be nice. The glacier growls and creaks and rumbles down its face, blue boulder tumbles. That's pretty, huh? How about this? Great river of ice flowing through the land, carving peaks with icy hand. We sure live in a beautiful place, don't we? A world of ice, a world of snow, a plane up high with far to go. Have any of you ever flown in a little plane like that? How about a big plane? Swooping low to snatch a meal, 
a golden beak and claws like steel. What is that? That's pretty cool, an eagle. Mom said, Woof. and here we are. We hope she didn't go too far. A dozen salmon hit the spot. I'll eat another. Maybe not. No need to stare. Please look away. It's just another bad hair day. Do you see that, silly porcupine? Mom keeps me safe on a mountain high above the clouds where eagles fly. My time is marked by amber horn, a curl that grew since I was born. Big but gentle, strong but shy. I'll wait right here till you pass by. My grandma pumped her water here. It tastes the same, so pure and clear. Ancient faces carved in wood would whisper stories if they could. Mountains glow with pale green light. Aurora dances in the night. Well, that was pretty cool. Real pictures of the great place we live in. It is a pretty beautiful place. We're pretty lucky, I think. Don't you? Okay, I have one more story. Dream flights on Arctic nights. I love this one because it's about Alaska and the art is beautiful. They did such a great job. At night, just as the moon climbs high, I make a wish that I can fly. A raven clacks its inky beak and ruffles feathers dark and sleek. Come quick, it calls. It's time to go. Where will it lead? Perhaps you know. Against my cheeks, the north winds nip. As fast along the earth we zip across the land and overseas to find new friends among the trees. A pack of wolves, see the wolves? On midnight prowl, look up and give the welcome howl while it's harm again. And a porcupine nod hello through the snowy pine. The wolverine and grizzly bears give chase to shrews and hares, and owls hoot from spruce so tall, who, who is there, they call. With eagles on the wind I soar, high over the river, lake, and shore, past salmon, swimming in a stream, their silver scales and starlit gleam. Across the mountains, topped with snow, still farther, farther north we go. I call to mountain goats and sheep who greet us with a daring leap. With a puffin as my guide, high above the sea I glide, past beaches made of glacier clay, where walrus, gulls, and sea lions play. Near rocky shores, a raft of otters splash and dive upon the waters, fetching meals of clams and fish, baby otters, favorite dish. Beneath the churning ocean foam, the narwhals and belugas roam, while bowhead whales breach and sing and flap their fins like mighty wings. A snowy owl with feathers white flies me deeper through the night across the frosty tundra plain to lands where ancient glaciers reign. Where caribou and arctic fox play hide and seek with this brown musk ox, I have a, a wave to wandering bears who watch us pass with wide-eyed stares. 
Suddenly the sky ignites in a streaks of green and golden lights. The colors flicker, dart, and play. Come dance with us, they seem to say. Then like the flash of rainbow trout, one by one, the stars wink out. Knowing that night is soon to end, I say goodbye to my new friends. On rustling wings so swift and black, my raven comes to guide me back. Then as the sunrise streaks the sky, away to home, we turn and fly. To dream of snowy, starry nights, deep in a land of Arctic nights. Are you guys ready for winter? I'm not quite, but I think the snow is gonna be super fun. Did you notice it's getting a little darker? That happens this time of year, doesn't it? And it just, because winter's a little darker than summer for sure. So our project today can be a couple different things. You can draw and decorate a really great picture of your favorite thing about where you live. Your favorite thing could be animals. It could be your house. It could be something else in your neighborhood. It could be your school. It could be the mountains. It could be a picture of fishing. I don't know what your favorite thing is. You'll have to decide and draw a picture of it. You could also make a flag. Right? You could make an Alaska flag, just like this one, or you could make your very own design of a flag. I'm so happy you joined me for story time today, friends. I hope you enjoyed it, and happy Alaska Day. Bye for now.